Hi, welcome to our demo of the SQL accounting system. Um, as you can see, after we log in to the system, you can see the main functions are here, JL, customer, supplier, sales, purchase, and stock if relevant to your business. All right. So first, we will click on general ledger. We can see our chart of accounts. We will enter all our chart of accounts that we require for our day-to-day -day business. All right. So we can scroll. We can see that you've got your assets, liabilities, um, expenses, accounts all set up there already in our demo demo unit. Um, ne next step will be we will key in our cash book, our payment vouchers, for example. As you can see here, you can put your payee name here. You can choose your bank account that you or you're gonna pay by cash. Right? You put also your bank charges. You enter your bank charge here, 53 cents in the example, and the check number. Right. Then next, we will enter what we are paying for. For example, we're going to pay for our water and electricity. We're going to put in our details here. All right. Uh, our month, bill number, if you require. The amount. TX is automatic. Okay. And the second line, you can put your telephone bill. Uh, bill for what? Your amount. Right. And if the amount is inclusive tax, we will tick it. We will put a tick mark there so we'll know. So the system will auto calculate the price inclusive GST. Right. And we will print preview now. You will do a print preview before you do actual printing of any documents. So payment vouchers for your company. Right. Approved by, received by. Right. Pay for what? It's all here. And we can export it as well to any to PDF, Word, Excel, up to you. Right? Journal entry. For this system, we will use journal entry for the normal things, such as um, uh, depreciation expenses. And in this case, in our example here, we will do a bank charge re uh, GST reversal. Select the bank charge, select the amount, right? 50 cents per check. And we want to claim back 3 cents, for example. And we'll click OK. And the GST, the journal will take care of your, your claim, your GST claim in this case. Other functions here, okay, one very important function will be your bank reconciliation. All right, we'll go in here, you'll choose your bank, you'll choose your relevant dates. Okay. And you knock off your, uh, you match your bank statement with the system. You enter your bank statement closing figure there. Click save. And we can print preview for a perfect bank reconciliation. We'll close this. Okay. Next, we will see our reports. Normally, we want to look at the profit and loss, of course. Okay, so profit and loss, we we'll choose our date. We have a few formats here: this year versus last year, this year versus, uh, this month versus last month. And for our example here, I will choose this report. We'll click apply, and we'll have our report print preview. Okay. There you have it. Next, we want to take a look at our balance sheet, for example. We'll click at the format we want and click apply. And there we have it. We'll have our bal uh, list of balances uh, today. You can see. We will move on now to uh, our customer 
our customer section. So if you're right, we click on a maintain customer. We can see our customers list as well as their balances outstanding on the right side. Click edit and we'll see our customer. You can see the name, address, uh, phone, fax, attention, uh, terms as well. We can change the terms for each and every customer. Okay. Uh, and for our GST, we will need to put in the registration number as well as the GST number for your customers and suppliers. We will need this information. Click Save. All right. And if we click Browse, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, outstanding balances on the right side. We'll carry on. For sales, we would have we we'll normally issue things like quotation, sales order, delivery order, and invoice. We we'll look at the tax invoice now. This is our list of invoices that we've issued so far. We click new. We choose our client. We we'll choose what we want to sell our item. Quantity, amount. This is all editable. We'll choose all the items necessary. Fill in the quantities, fill in the price. And click save and it will get posted once you click save it will get posted to the system All right we will print preview a tax invoice okay so this is a uh, usual tax invoice All right with the GST breakdown Press the close button, close. And next we can move on. We will receive money from the customer. We will click on customer payment. So as you can see, this software is very, very easy. Right? We make an invoice, we receive payment. Okay. Click new as usual. Just click new. Very, very easy, very simple. Okay. Choose our client. And this is the total list of bills, invoices that is due from them. We'll key in the amount that we received. As you note, that is part payment of the entire bill. And we can do part payment bill to bill as well. Okay, one invoice, two invoice, three invoice, and four. Click save. And we can preview the official receipt that we will issue to your client. To the client. Right, click all right, click OK. There we go. Official receipt. So for this system, every document that you require will be generated by the system. No more using Excel. For the customer as well, you can look at things like aging report and the statement of account. So in this case, we've clicked statement. And here, statement, we'll choose the client. We'll click apply. We'll do a preview. In there, statement of account ready to be printed and sent out your customers. All right. Now back on to supply side. For purchasing, we can issue purchase order. Choose our supplier. Choose the item that you want to buy. We've sold this item, one, two, three, and now we want, want to buy some stock back. Replenish our stocks. So how many units? At what price? Okay. 
text GST, save, and we preview for the standard PO format. Okay. So you can issue this and your, your supplier will send you the items. On receipt of items, you will transfer everything to your purchase invoice. You just transfer the purchase order to the purchase invoice. It will not be necessary to key in again. Save you a bit of time and as well as keep things in order. Alright, save. This will minimize your chance of any errors occurring. And we put, okay, close that. And next, of course, we pay our suppliers. Supplier payment. New. And amount. And which bills we're paying for. Click save and we can generate a payment voucher automatically. Close all this. Okay. Next, we look at some of the stock reports. Stock reports are generally automatic, right? When you buy and you sell, the stock automatically deducts, adds and deducts to your balances. So as you can see, this is a stock listing. We preview all your stocks. You can either you can either do the costing at FIFO or weighted average costing. Look at the stock card, right? We choose the item. Click apply. And for the stock card, we will see the movement of your stocks and the balance. Who did we sell it to and who we bought it from and the balance. The stock card. Now we will look at the all important GST reports. GST 03 generation automatic by the system. Okay. Click apply process. And voila, the system will generate a general voucher as well as let you know what is the more payable. GST 03. Okay. You can either, as you can see, output tax, input tax and payable amount, and all further details of your business. All right. If you want to do online submission of this form, GST 03 TAP. Right. We'll close this. You can check your GST listing to verify your accounts. Okay, click apply. And it will let you know your relevant GST invoices, transactions. Last but not least, the GST audit file, very, very important. Check the dates, click apply. And you'll have your transaction list, GST03. We will export it out. And this is the format GST03 that Jabadan Custom requires you to have to, to submit if you ever need to show them. And that is the SQL accounting system 
it is a simple easy to use user-friendly system and uh, do call us contact us at uh, these numbers here uh, if you need further info and if you want to confirm dealing with us thank you very much